Hey, this is Aime with ChrisBellaMarketing.com and today's tutorial is a little bit different than my typical tutorial as I mostly talk about blogging and tips about blogging, etc. But I wanted to uh, kind of uplift my YouTube channel and give it a brand that matches the brand on my blog here and I'm also trying to uh, pre-market uh, my upcoming book. Uh, so I went into YouTube and I usually upload my videos to YouTube but haven't been paying much attention to all the changes. There's my my book which will, which will make sense to you in just a second here. But um, I went in there and it is totally different now on how to apply your background to YouTube. So if you were in the previous uh, YouTube, we're talking 2013 here, they just updated it. So once you update your channel, you're gonna notice that your background images sort of don't fit or go away. So I'm gonna show you how to create that background image. Now, a little disclaimer here, you will probably need some sort of uh, graphic design software in order to do this. You might be able to do it on PowerPoint. I'm not sure how wide uh, in pixels PowerPoint will go. I use Fireworks. You can also use Photoshop or you can hire somebody to do it for you. But basically, this is what um, what's happening here. So now you just have sort of this banner up here as your brand and they changed a bunch of the layout and I'm working to you know get my uh, videos here reorganized again adding a channel trailer etc but this is the part that I'm going to show you and typically what I would do is just to see the size of this and then I take it into a graphic editor and I try to build using that size but it doesn't work that way anymore so basically what we're looking at is uh, YouTube layout and don't let this scare you I'll show you how I use it but basically you want a uh, spread of about 20, 20 2120 by 1192 okay so those are pixels and basically what YouTube does now because you can access YouTube from so many different areas now you can actually go and watch YouTube on your TV. You can watch YouTube on your computer. You can watch YouTube from your iPad, your tablet, your desktop, your iPhone, etc. So what they did is they try to come up with a layout that would in incorporate all devices. So basically what I am going to help you focus on is how to make your layout compatible with most devices. I hope people are watching my youtube channel in tv on tv and eventually they probably everybody will be right i mean that's what's really now going to be the next thing but basically i'm more concerned about my desktop and my uh, phone and a tablet so if you focus on this area here in the center okay if you enter or design your logo within this area here the 1280 by 350 then your images or your logo your brand will show up on all devices so it'll show up it'll show up like this on your YouTube channel if somebody's looking at a you know television through a television it'll show up too so basically what you're going to do, and I already have this drawn, but you pretty much can bring in your um, brand, but just copy a few elements from your brand over, or you can do it from scratch. This is how I would do it. And just stage them in here. And that's kind of what you're going to see. If you make your logo here kind of towards the center, then what you do is you just add whatever background you want take this image out. I'm going to put the download here below this video. Just click delete and this is where your stuff should be. So don't delete the background until you're totally done with how you want to design uh, your stuff. And then just whatever you add in the background, just keep note that it's probably not going to show across all devices, right? So I would just focus on this little blue area here and keeping everything that you want at the top of your YouTube channel within this little area here. A neat thing about YouTube is that right now when you go into your channel and you try to upload 
it's going to show you exactly what it's going to look like from all your devices. So if you I'm clicking this image here before you say yes, no, do it, it's going to show you. OK, so if you're on YouTube and their desktop looking at YouTube, this is what you'll see. If somebody's watching on TV, this is what they'll see. And if they're pulling it up on their mobile, this is what they'll see. So as you can see, my little logo with the two birdies and you know, mainly my chrisbellamarketing.com shows on iPhone. This is the most important one, right? Most people are mobile now. This is where I think everyone's going. Uh, TV, I, I mean, I care, I don't care so much, but it still shows on the TV and here's the desktop. So pretty much when you choose what you like and, and you like what it looks like, then you just click on select and it'll replace this one. But that's it, that's pretty much what you do. I'm gonna put the file below the video so that you can download the PSD. And just to give credit where credit's due, I actually grabbed the PSD from this young man, Howard Pinsky, and you can go to iceflowstudios.com and find him. But that's where I got his PSD. I'll put him. I'll put it on our uh, on the blog, and you'll also see a little link back to his website to give him credit. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, Howard, for having this layout so well put together, uh, and uh, really helped me get that logo set up. So there you go. That's how you add your new brand to your new YouTube. Uh, channel. Good luck. Have fun. Again, this is Aime Bakanen, and thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video. Come over and visit me on my fan page. You can see it on the screen right now, and uh, that's where I will publish uh, more tips and ideas on how to blog and deal with social media and get your business online. Thank you so much, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.